Welcome to 2016. It's been a minute since we've been on the scene, but we've been handling logistics. Shout out to Round Rock Beauty Supply. Woo! That R R. Killing yeah, it. Killing it. Nothing but great, great things happened in 2015 for us. And we are hoping the same for 2016, as well as we hoping for you guys. Same thing. We want y'all to succeed and have nothing but great things happen for y'all too so Shit. we can hear about it and you can call yeah. us at the show all the good things can't just happen to us you know we're gonna happen to y'all too blessed we by want, the best and we want to hear about it so <sighs> how you feeling today you looking quite lovely in y'all blue thank you so much don't forget i'm wearing gold too my little nanas is out right now She's, i'm trying to do something bit. a little different mm. king max in this bit queen gerda in this bit you show sure always look like a king you don't need nothing on to look like a king. See them glasses and that Rogers shirt? That don't make you, baby. You looks good all I the time. I could be in the shower and still be a king. You a king at all times. All times. Except when you get on my damn nerves, you ain't no king. Yeah. It's the Queen Gertie and Max Show. Guess what, y'all? We eat out a lot. We eat out so much. We figured that we're going to start doing something new for this 2016. And we want to share with everybody what we eat where we eat it and how well that place does so first on our list is beluga or Ooh. maybe belusia well let, let's start off by telling them about the waitress so she came to our table she's definitely foreign she was from maybe russia, russia. i think she was from russia yeah maybe russia but um we Ooh. did we did tell her we wanted iced tea and she forgot but that's yeah, cool that wasn't tea. that bad right. that's cool I think it was a she only brought us two waters but anyway so we ordered what we I had, should, the, I we had have, the salted I peas we had the steamed peas then we moved on to uh shrimp tempura uh, sushi you know what i liked about the um shrimp tempura rolls is that it was the shrimp was still crunchy on the inside of the white rice and usually you don't find that too often restaurants yeah. usually overcook the shrimp or undercook the shrimp so it was when you bite into the white rice you could still get that yeah right in the middle that's of the sushi important. that's very important for the shrimp to stay crunchy so that was on point and then we had some other sushi called um it was um, like a crab um it was, i forget the exact name but you know my receipt is upstairs it. yeah it was like some uh it was uh, california rolls topped with crab meat and sauce anyway it was the best sushi i had ever eaten in my entire life so i might need to eat out more or i'm just not eating at the right places i don't know and i was so like good. yeah you know i know how to pick it on the menu i enjoyed the ribs but you know my problem with the ribs was it wasn't enough, enough meat. meat you know there's a lot of fat is real snack baby this is how these i don't know eat if i was eating lamb or it was like, cow you're supposed or... to eat it like this like this look you go but she told me i was wasting a lot of ribs so every I, time he threw a rib on the plate and said i was done i picked that rib back up and i went yeah to the bone to the bone gristle you don't throw that away boy yeah that's good japanese food but let's talk about this combination fried rice oh my gosh mm. it was like meshed into this whole bowl pack thing and he flipped the bowl over and bow threw the shrimp on top that rice was fried to perfection perfection and he don't even like shrimp like that I mean, Baby, like he like tore that. it up. He even pulled one out of my hand when I was trying to do the last one. <laughs> Off the chain. Well, let's talk about the environment. I enjoyed the environment. I thought it was enough light. You know, it wasn't too dim, wasn't too lit. Felt like I was going into some samurai sword fighting training type dojo. I like that. That was cool. Look, we've been fighting not to go there the past two days. We said we're going to wait till we do the review and then we're going to go back. So we, right. might, we might go there tonight. Yeah, so they, they kind of running neck and neck with P.F. Chang's right now. Total one to ten. Over our experience. Give them about a nine. I give them about a nine. I do. You know, I, I really I give them about a nine. Even when we were leaving, the people who were rolling the sushi, they must be doing like to-go order or something. They have like a sushi bar in there in the back. Bye. They were like, bye. Thank you. Have a good day. I appreciate and I, that. And I think they were Japanese. So I appreciated that. That's you know, cool. they didn't have to reach out and say bye. Yeah. And I think our bill was about... You know, like we we thought we were gonna pay seventy, eighty dollars. That's our normal bill anywhere 50, we go. Right? It was like fifty six dollars, yeah. and we gave her ten dollars. So you know? well worth the trip if you want to go to Belusia. If you're here in Austin, Texas, if you're in Round Rock or Fluorville, come check them out. And you need to go help them because guess what? That building there, I know the rent like twenty G's a month. They need help. They it's the Queen Gertie and Max Show.